If I don't like it, if it's too expensive, if I require a lot of welds, all I got to do is break it again and try again. Go back to my initial setup and try a different layout. There could be literally millions of solutions that are possible. And that's the challenge when you do this uh, trial by trial and error. You can spend weeks and days you know, trying to solve the problem and you may be going around in circles. The idea of this is the second you start laying out each inch at a time, you're zooming in into the possible solutions. So this is stage one. And again, from an existing, pro uh, an existing project, this is what we will, you will be able to produce. These are essentially the documents that will be able to produce a header, a real header for an application. Uh, there's basic information that you fill in as far as project. Uh, and again, based on all these numbers, I can put a price tag to these things. This, that, this concludes uh, stage one. Of course, this can be filed and used for later reference or to go into production if you are uh, designing, a, 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 you found a winning combination. For prototyping, this is also exceptionally um, powerful where you can produce different versions of the header, uh, making sure they, they all fit and go straight into the dyno to, to get your uh, power curves. So this concludes stage one. The stage two of Ice Engine Works system starts with the uh, aluminum cutting board, which is essentially a plate a fixture that will sit on top of a workbench and will make drive or guide the blade into the circle of the uh, bend. This is a universal part. It comes uh, unassembled. It includes felt pads that are recommended to be uh, placed in the back so that the plate can slide gently over the workbench of a vertical bandsaw. We recommend that the vertical bandsaw workbench is clean and waxed so you don't have any friction when you're running it and you get a better cutting experience. Included as, as well is the center stud and all the hardware to be able to locate and fix the available cutting spacers. The cutting spacers are made out of a high density polyethylene, fully machined. The cutting spacers are, are designed to produce metal versions of our plastic model uh, made in blocks. All the joints that we create with our plastic blocks have straight cuts. That is, the cut, the joints are always perpendicular to the tangent. This is what we want to reproduce in metal so that we get smooth transitions between different sections. So for that, it is critical that when we make a cut, the cuts we make on a blade are always pointing to the center. With that in mind, what we developed is this uh, cutting spacers that fill the void inside a J-bend or a U-bend and precisely locate the bend at the center of the circle. So the blade, when it comes through this slot, will always be pointing to the center. And that way we will always create cuts that are straight and perpendicular to the tangent. The adjustment is really simple. As you can see, there are no numbers. These are not degree because it doesn't matter. The essence of our product is that it is high precision, but at the same time does not require any measurements or calculations or any other uh, requirement that may take uh, time away from its main objective, which is just building headers.